Welcome, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for January 31st, 2019. The first uh, month of 2019 has come and gone. We have 11 left. What are you going to be doing for the next 11 months? Are you jumping in your car and commuting to work and doing something you don't want to do? Or are you going to be taking steps towards financial freedom? So I'm Scott. Coach Rob is joining us. And uh, Coach Rob, were we able to make uh, any good trades today? Yeah, for sure. We had uh, a couple of nice uh, moves in the, on the green side. And in options trading, for us, that means buying calls. The day was was pretty good, a pretty good up morning and then sideways and cyclical for the afternoon. But when I was watching in real time in the market on this day, I noticed a big move around that 10 o'clock hour. So let's take it all the way back to the beginning of the day as if we were starting the day and go to, let me share my screen. Okay, there we go. Start out with SPY, but I want to go, actually, yeah, we can, we can go check out SPY. SPY is the option code for the S&P 500 options. And it had a sideways, you know, it's a, we, we use it as an index in our options because not only is it a very tradable and liquid uh, option with very nice low spreads on the option side, but it's also a powerful indicator of what the whole market's doing. Basically, you take the 500 best stocks out there and see what traders are doing intraday on on those 500. And what you come up with is is kind of a picture of the, the entire market. So it's it's one indicator. Hey, what? And around this 10 o'clock hour. We had a pretty good green, the, 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 let's say the terrain was ripe for a move in one, one direction or the other. And at that 10 o'clock, 10.01 hour, the SPY had kind of been sideways, had some green action, but now we're starting to get some, some moves across the market and the market support is growing for us at 29 on the minute log. So in a green moment like this, you look at your main list and you see what movers are out there. I'm going to take a look at Tesla in this moment. We'll see how she's moving. Right along with SPY, it had gone green in the past, the last 10 minutes of that nine o'clock hour. And now it's hitting this support line. So the, the support became resistance because Tesla had dipped below it. So what happened last time it hit a support line? Watch the behavior of the stock. It bounced off and catapulted all the way up from SB to SA in a relatively short amount of time, about 20 minutes. And so now it is still got volume. That's one of the things that you definitely want to study on a ticker, whether it's a stock or an index, is what was the volume like so far for the day? Tesla didn't have a single minute go by without exceptional volume. So that should tell you something right there. And it's flirting with that resistance line. It's got an Einstein fractal, a Y point, and SA all around this 301, 302 ballpark. We're just above opening price. So I'm telling you uh, as viewers, uh, I'm telling you guys all this information because it's all context and you need some context before you decide to get into a trade. Uh, the context or the, the factors that you're identifying need to fit your rules. Otherwise, it's a, it's a too high risk moment for you to get in. A lot of rules are built around breakouts. So let's move forward one minute and see if Tesla breaks out. It does. It's got renewed volume coming up right there. You can take a look at it on, on the one minute candles. You can kind of play with time frames and see how it looks on different uh, time scales. You can change the, within our program, you can change the size of the candles to be one minute, three minute, five minute candles. But that one minute time frame had a, had a pretty good, it gave us a nice portrait of what's happening with Tesla in this moment. So this is a good time to go into our replay by close and we'll buy a call. And you can see right there, this marks on your chart for you. The system does a lot of the work for you. We have a marker right there to show where you buy or where you bought with the dollar sign. And now we can move forward one minute at a time and see what Tesla, how it behaves. Tesla has a reputation for being a little bit of a wild stock, Scott. So when you enter a trade on Tesla, you need to be, I guess, a little bit risk tolerant, a little bit 
good with flutter let's put it that way and and so you have to kind of weather the storm on tesla in order for it to show you something right here it's it's paying off and that move right there if we look at it on a different time scale we got in right there and now we're looking at a big volume spike renewed volume at that 10 12 minute plus we're hitting the benchmark we're at 305 which is a big price point and we're also very close to the pivot so in so, other words we have potential resistance showing up yeah in multiple forms so all that put together is a good time to exit the trade so let's get up our buy close we're sitting at 16 percent we'll take that and we'll run with it bring over the like so 16.1 percent in 10 minutes not bad oh, beautiful all right yeah and I, I bring up this moment because that green move kind of started around that 10 o'clock hour and a lot of times big time windows will will show themselves will catalyze big moves investors out there wait until the top of the hour the bottom of the hour to make their moves and that's just that's just his historical facts uh, there's evidence for that so pay attention to them they're they're powerful elements in your trading strategy so i say that because i want to go back to that 10 o'clock hour we had looked at spy we also looked at tesla but the best one on the main list at 10 o'clock was actually facebook and i brought over the main list here it's an important part of trading and in the coaching program we'll show you how to manage your main list to fit your strategy and right here we had facebook getting that green sig signal uh in the background but it didn't really have it's not that impressive it's not at the high for the day clv is only 66 but we're one move forward one minute and we're starting to get k band back on we're getting higher highs now instead of this chop and indecision that was happening from the 1045 kind of time frame onward now we're getting a breakout and i think you want one more minute to confirm see what it does around that 168 time frame and that's a good one that's a that's a nice breakout nice strong candle we're getting renewed volume just like we did on tesla so here's a good opportunity to bring up a replay buy sell or buy close and we're into the trade with a call here we go we're getting okay it's good good action in our favor and we're getting a doji there with some resistance but we just picked up really nice market support so the minute logs at 65 the main list and is, is looking pretty green overall so good good nice green trend and we're still getting higher highs just watch facebook as it continues to give us higher highs now we're at almost at the high point for the day our clv is 94 we still got some market support so let's take a look and see if we're going to hit the, during these kind of mid trade time frames coach's tip would be look look ahead so what are some powerful resistance lines that we're going to hit the next r or s resistance line like ra or sa or pivot is a dollar 15 away so we still got some some room to run in that regard 169 is not the biggest price point but it's an even dollar i'd say 170 is probably our our most likely turnaround point and that just happens to coincide with the next resistance line as well so this thing still has some good good um, room to run and it's shown us consistent volume throughout the day so this spike here started our trend Let's see how far the trend goes. We're already breaking that 169 with real ease, I'd say. We're approaching a, a minor time window with 1015, so that's a possible stopping point. But like I said, I think 170 right there, you can see it. Now we're approaching it. 170 is a big price point for investors. It could be high frequency trading machines just waiting for the price to touch 170 and then they'll put in big sell orders and same thing for the rf line this is really high on on the resistance kind of tiers so all that put together tells me it's probably a good time to get out and we just hit that 
intermediate time window of 10, 15, a minute ago. So let's close. Let's let's enjoy our 37 percent on a Facebook trade and and go about the rest of our day. That's amazing. That's great. And I totally agree. It's like the risk is grow. You can feel it growing. And uh, even if it jumps through it, well, we didn't know it was going to, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it's more about self-preservation, capital preservation and risk management through through what's most likely, what's most likely to occur. We, Like you just said, in the moment, we only had so much information. Yeah. We had no idea that that next candle was going to be another breakout and that this already old trend that had burned up a lot of gas on the way was going to continue. Had, yeah, still had more gas in the tank. Yeah, we just had no way of knowing. How far now? Well, now I'm curious. Like, how far <laughs> up did it go? Let's see. There, uh, there. Okay, good. So, <laughs> but basically, there was basically two big candles, which was the end of the trend. Yeah. 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 So, like Warren Buffett always said, when they asked him, "How do you make so much money?" He got in too late. And he got out too soon. And we got out too soon, but we got out when the risk was going up dramatically. And four minutes later. It reversed on us, and we lost all of that two candle gain. So yeah, you could have squeezed a couple more ounces of blood out of the stone, but uh, it's not worth the stress. No, it's certainly not. And there's perfection is impossible. Just take what you can get in a repeatable manner and consistently, and yeah. don't try to to nail the perfect tops or bottoms of these trends, like. That's a great way of putting it, Rob. Don't yeah. try to nail the perfect top and the perfect bottom of the trend because the perfect top was right up there where that orange line is. And that's, you know, not not reasonable. I mean, obviously somebody hit it, right? <laughs> you know, somebody did, but that's not what our goal is. Our goal is to pull out, you know, sk skim the cream off the top of the bottle of milk or to minimize our risk and and I'm not going to say maximize our profits, but to to make a good reasonable profit and 36.6 is nothing to sneeze at. Right, uh, absolutely not. That that can that can make your year, certainly your month of trading. But just just to that point, the lowest it got was during that first minute of the day. It got down to the 165 price point. So the perfect trade in the context of what we've seen so far from Facebook would be to buy a call at once when it, the price is at 165 and sell it when it's at 171.60 or whatever that is. That is pretty unreasonable because you can't see that. Right. Um, right. That would be the perfect trade. And if some lucky guy or girl out there hit it, well, more power to you. But I don't think you can repeat that strategy. This here, from here to where we entered that 165 to 168, that's the bread. And there's also some bread up here, but consider it like nasty, stale bread that you don't know if it's moldy or gonna make you sick. This is what you want. You want the meat right in the middle, that healthy roast beef. Uh, that, is, right. that is more delectable than, than that kind of eh, risky bread. That's right. Yeah, you know the trend that has been established and you also know that it's not likely going to go much further. And we want to get out before it starts turning. That's right. Yeah. Self-preservation, capital preservation. Perfect. So Tesla, 16.1 in 10 minutes. Facebook, 36.6 in 14 minutes. I would say uh, we had a pretty good day and time to enjoy life. That's right. Just carry on. Let's carry on. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much, Coach Rob, for sharing this. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Really appreciate you all. This has been the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for January 31st, 2019. What's the rest of your year going to look like? We uh, invite you to join us, find out more about the software, the coaching, the membership, and how you can use this to create uh, another stream of income in your life or uh, replace, uh, you know, if you don't like your job, replace that. So. And Scott, while we're at it, there's a 10 day free trial where you get access to this same replay simulator. There's absolutely no strings attached to that. You'll actually meet with me if you apply for the trial 
and I'll, I'll give you a quick overview of the system. We'll talk about your goals. And from there, you can decide if this is right for you. And, and there's a good chance it will be, uh, but you never know until you put your toe in the water, give it a 10-day trial, maximize that time with all the wealth of, of videos and, and uh, replay reps that you can do. And then we'll, we'll at the 10-day mark, we'll meet again and we'll talk about it, see if it's right for you. Perfect. Great. Thanks, Rob. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.